Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be my 7 months on tea update. This is also my first full month of being on two pumps of testo gel instead of one. And I'm just going to let you know how everything's been going. I think that the changes are happening a little faster than they were before, but I could be just imagining it. I don't know what my tea levels are doing at the moment, like they might still be balancing out, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not meant to have a blood test until like July or August, and I'm filming this on... When am I filming this? The 24th of June, but when I do get that blood test I will let you know how the tea levels are looking, but I, I have a feeling from what I'm seeing that they're doing better. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm just going to jump into the update. Firstly, I'm going to give you another moustache update and show you how that's doing. So I'm going to get real close again so you can see. Oh no, the lighting is doing weird stuff. Okay, I'll have to put in another clip of how my moustache is looking because the lighting is not great right now. I do think that it's gotten a bit darker. Um, I know I say that every month, but it is getting a little harder to tell now without like seeing it in these updates and comparing it to last month like I don't know when I look in the mirror I think I'm just like so used to it now that I don't really notice the difference even when it's happening also my sideburn areas are definitely like darker as well and like I feel like the hairs themselves are kind of longer trying to show you with the weird lighting I might have to put in another clip for this again also, I think that I'm starting to get some hair growing, like, along here. Um, you can't see it on camera yet, but I can see it in, like, a sort of magnifying shaving mirror. It's, like, it's kind of coming in a little patchy, but I guess that doesn't surprise me because that's what usually happens for people. It's kind of cool seeing some progress there. I also have noticed, again, you can't see it on camera yet, but I have about five little hairs coming up under my lip which is like really exciting. I have been pretty keen for those little hairs to come in ever since I started tea so I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for those to become more obvious. That'll be great. Also my chin hairs are becoming a lot more <laughs> bountiful <laughs> like I definitely think that there's more of them. They're much more noticeable to me. I don't know if you can see them well on camera yet but they're definitely there and they're like kind of all different lengths and some are like kind of fluffy and others like stick straight out and they're really dark and others are more fine and like light colored but they're definitely darker than they were pre tea that's for sure for the rest of my body hair i do think that my arms and hands are getting hairier or at least the hair's getting darker i know i always say that and it's kind of hard to tell but i will try and show you yeah i especially notice it again like on the wrist area and how it's kind of starting to make a trail like under my hand and then kind of down to here but yeah it's kind of easier to see IRL rather than on camera but it's getting real fluffy yeah you can really see here I've also noticed that I'm getting more hair like on my upper arms as well, like not quite at my shoulders yet but kind of like from the elbow to like here I want to say, I'm noticing more hair. As for my tummy hair and my snail trail, um, that is more hairy again as well. It was kind of similar last time but like the snail trail area seems to be like widening. Before it was like really a very focused kind of strip of hair and now it's like kind of branching out more and I think I'm getting like more tummy hair in general rather than like just the little happy trail area. It seems to be like starting to slowly spread over the rest of my tummy which I'm very happy about. And then speaking of hair, I also thought I should let you know about how my hair loss is going. I wanted to have an earlier appointment with my endo to talk more about my hair loss because I tried the minoxidil as you know from last time and I didn't like it <laughs> at all. It is not something that I can do every day. So I wanted to talk to my endo about trying finasteride but the earliest appointment that I could get with my endo was August which I guess is like better than it was because I was going to see her in November and then we changed it to August. Yeah so... <laughs> I didn't want to wait that long so um, I also asked a GP about it what her opinion was on me trying finasteride and she kind of said the same thing that my endocrinologist did which is that it would mess too much with my T levels because my T levels are still like balancing out 
since I've only just upped my dose. It would be like a bad time to start finasteride. That was kind of how I had it explained to me. So it kind of looks like finasteride is out, which sucks. But the more that I've had time to think about it, the less that I think I actually want to try taking it. So yeah, I don't know if I even want to try finasteride anyway. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll try to have one more chat with my endo about it when I see her in August, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere honestly. So I've been trying to look at like other things I can do, kind of to no avail but I'm trying. Apparently there's like different foods that you can try that can like slow down or halt hair loss if you eat them every day but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I've been mostly trying pumpkin seeds. You're meant to use pumpkin seed oil but I can't seem to find any anywhere so I'm eating pumpkin seeds instead. I'm having them like three times a day. I just have like I don't know how many it would be but like that many like all within this little amount i think i've been trying it for like a month and nothing seems to really be happening i don't think but i know you gotta give these things some more time i guess but i'm really i don't know how much time i can give it because like by the time it kicks in i may have like lost most of my hair so currently i'm losing between like probably between 15 and 30 hairs a night on average and that isn't including the hair that I lose during the day as well. Yeah, I occasionally have a day where I lose like 5 to 10 hairs instead, that's like maybe once or twice a week. And I, I don't think that's because of the pumpkin seeds, honestly, it's probably just like a natural fluctuation that my body is having with its hair loss. And then usually the next day I lose like more hair than usual, so it kind of balances itself out to being the same. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it sucks. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying just so I feel like I have some kind of control over the situation, but it's very obvious to me that I don't. So for the hair loss itself, I don't, I like, I think it's that it's receding, but it's like all of the crown of my head just keeps thinning. Like that's where I'm losing all my hair. Like these parts you can't really see that well but like my temples seem to be pretty okay. I'm not really noticing like any noticeable hair loss in that area. It's really just all the crown of my head and I'm starting to see like a pattern I guess because uh, you notice it more like after wearing hats, especially beanies because it like flattens all of your hair. So you can see like where the bald patch is coming in and it's like I can see it starting and it's like kind of this shape it's not that big yet but i'm sure it will be so that's fun so i'm probably going to be entering my wig era soon i've been looking at like all these different wigs online that i could buy there are some really cool wigs out there and i am looking forward to like being able to change my hair with every outfit i mean that would be really cool but it is kind of more convenient having my own hair to be honest yeah but i don't know what i can do about that because i'm kind of like trying to outrun my own genetics and I, I know there's only so much that I can really do but that's how my hair is going. I might try and show you a clip of how it's looking but I'm pretty self-conscious so we'll see. I, I'll probably show it to you but yeah. So that's how my hair is going. I don't know what to do. Everything kind of sucks in that area so I try not to think about it too much but yeah it's not it's not too good. <laughs> let's be honest. I don't actually have this written down so I'm just like slotting it in here before I forget to talk about it but I just really wanted to quickly mention like muscle mass and it's only a quick little thing which is that I think my calves have more muscle <laughs> than they did before um because they seem like a lot more like solid or something which is kind of cool because like I have not been exercising really at all for the past like month or so because I've just been feeling really unwell. Not tea related, just migraines and stuff so I haven't been out very much. The most exercise that I've been getting is like when I go thrifting <laughs> which can be a lot of exercise to be fair because I go to like a lot of thrift stores in one day. I do like five in a day. Yeah but anyway so the muscle it just it just seems to like me and I appreciate that a lot. I also think I do have a bit more muscle like in my upper arms as well but Again, a bit too self-conscious to show you because they are only baby muscles, but it is cool, like, seeing that happen despite my lack of effort. <laughs> so that's nice. I want to talk about my voice. So 
I'm not sure if it's really changed that much from last month. I think maybe it has a little bit, but it's still pretty like inconsistent. Like I have sort of moments or even a full day where it's like a bit more gravelly or deeper than usual, but it doesn't generally stay, which kind of sucks. I have been getting sore throats again this month. I think I've had like three or four and I keep getting that thing where you have like a dry throat and you have to keep drinking water but it doesn't actually like work so you just keep drinking water and your throat is still dry and it's just dry for the whole day no matter what you do. <laughs> I've been getting that a lot. I think it's related. I hope it's related because I really want something to be happening with my voice but yeah I'm seeing I'm seeing the signs and I'm hoping that I'm interpreting them correctly let's just say. <laughs> I also think that I've noticed my voice like breaking a bit just here and there. I actually noticed that as of month six and I forgot to mention it. So yeah the past couple months my voice has been going up and down and breaking here and there and stuff. I wouldn't say like I guess sometimes it's been every day but usually it's like every other day like once or twice you know it's just here and there and it could be completely unrelated because I do remember like what was it week three and four of starting tea that like I felt like my voice was breaking because it was doing that same thing and then nothing happened which is like not surprising I mean come on three weeks on tea anyway so I don't want to get my hopes up but I'm also getting my hopes up <laughs> I mean, it's got to come at some point, right? So, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It is easier to, like, lean into the graveliness, especially, like, compared to pre-tea. Like, I don't know, pre-tea I found it so hard to talk in, like, a deeper voice. Like, it really hurt. But, um, I find it, like, way easier now. I don't know, it's just so much easier to lean into now, so that's kind of nice at least. I just feel like my voice is just all over the place lately, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'd like it to be a bit more consistent, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. If not, I should probably try and do some kind of voice training. I've been meaning to do that, like, even pre-tea, so I should really get onto that, I think. But I need to find a good speech pathologist, and I don't really know, like, where to go to find one. I don't know. I'll have another look around, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> now, onto my skin. So moment my skin isn't too bad but when I have been getting spots again I've been getting them like on my upper neck and my jawline and I have also started getting them on my chin as well which makes sense because apparently like with hormonal changes it's usually like that you get spots on your chin if that makes sense <laughs> um, I also had one like here and it was really big and distracting so I'm glad that's gone that's really annoying <laughs> I also think that the acne that's been on my shoulders has been like slowly moving down my arm so I'm now getting spots like not just my shoulders but like kind of here as well I also had three spots come up on this forearm which was like the weirdest thing I didn't know you could like get acne on your forearms but there you go apparently that's a thing <laughs> so lucky me but honestly I don't really have much to complain about in that area like it isn't bothering me too much at the moment lastly I just want to talk about my cycle real quick I don't actually have much to say about it but I'm still getting it although it didn't come as early this time last time it came like nine days early this time it only came about three days early which is an improvement but it was still really horrible dysphoria was just oh, I don't even have words for it anymore so I don't know like when that's gonna be pissing off or if it ever is I'm gonna be really annoyed if it doesn't ever go away but I do plan on getting surgery to deal with all of that at some point anyway I just need to like decide what kind I want. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I'll be talking about my cycle anymore until something changes again. That is how it's going at the moment. <laughs> and that is everything that I have to update you on in regards to how my tea journey is going and my transition. I think things are picking up, which is really good. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. And hopefully next month I will have some more transition updates to share with you. So that is it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.